Hello beautiful creatures, welcome back to Of Crafts and Curios. Today I'm going to be doing a little video showing you how I made my mini me doll. I know this is a favorite in the doll community to make a little mini me to represent yourself and seeing as all my other projects are on hold due to being stuck in level 4 here in Auckland for almost 5 weeks now being locked down means postage and things aren't as speedy as usual so I have got to make do with what I've got at home so it's the perfect time to do a mini me doll. I am going to be using a Rosabella doll from the Ever After Highline to represent my little mini self. I like her because she has quite a prominent chin and high cheekbones quite similar to myself and our skin tones are quite similar as I am half Italian, I am quite olive skinned, at least in the summertime, so she matches me quite well. As always, I am prepping the base by removing the factory paint with acetone based nail polish remover. This doll does have some staining, so I will also be using the acne cream removal technique to remove some staining once I've taken off her factory hair. As always, I'll be using the hot water technique to remove the doll head so that I can begin removing the hair plugs from within using my sharp ended scissors. As always, this is boiling hot water, so be sure that if you do use this method, you use a towel to remove the head afterwards so you don't burn your little hands. I'm hoping to keep today's video super chill and relaxed as I am having a lot of issues with my editing program at the moment. I think my computer is giving up the ghost after being used so much during lockdown. So hopefully we can just vibe, listen to some music and create a mini me. With all of the factory hair and paint removed, it's time to move on to the hair. This is my hair. I have really, really long hair down past my hips and it's kind of this ready goldeny brown color i'm not sure but i have a few hair choices to pick from and originally i thought i was going to do a half reroute half pre-wifted hair mix but i end up doing a full reroute with this hair that i'm showing you now up against my real hair i think my real hair is a little more red leaning than the hair i end up using but I am so glad that I did choose this hair for my reroute and do a full reroute at that. The hair is from Custom Doll Hair AU on Etsy and their hair is a dream. Their Saran Sinatra blends are so dreamy and tangle free and just so easy to use for someone like me who's kind of a novice to the whole reroute stuff. So check them out, I'll link them down below. With the hair complete, I'm just going to go ahead and reattach the head to the body and begin my face up. I've been sure to super secure the hair back in some plastic and fabric so that no Mr. Super Clear or anything else gets in my beautiful reroute. And as always, I'm going to begin my face up by choosing some really basic shapes for the face and then with layers of Mr. Super Clear, continue to add detail, depth and color. Doing a mini me doll is kind of random because you really have to look at your face for a while to figure out what you actually look like. I know that sounds really random, but I have really large round eyes. I think that's probably the most prominent feature of my face. So this doll is a bit different than my usual style. I think I lean more towards smaller eyes on my dolls, but because my eyes are really big and round, I do need to make them big on my doll. So that was fun to kind of stretch myself and try something different. I also have really like mixed hazel green eyes. So that was also fun because I usually tend to do more brown eyes on my dolls. 
and I really wanted to add some like telling features to my doll because I have long brown hair, hazel eyes and I'm tall like it's not really that interesting for a mini me so I do go ahead and add some freckles for my nose and some stretch marks for my hips and thighs because I'm super tall and I've got a big booty so I wanted to represent that because it's super important to be proud of your body it does so much for you and after all I wasn't going to get to be 5 foot 11 and have that traditional beautiful Italian hourglass without some stretch marks and you know that's okay so I really love my stretch marks and I thought it would be a really cute addition to my little mini me and with that said this isn't the place for discussion or arguments about stretch marks so don't leave those comments please and now we get to move on to my favorite part of the whole mini me process and of my everyday life the outfit so I wanted to create a little mood board for you guys to get a better understanding of how I kind of curate my wardrobe i'm really into clothes i worked in retail for ages and i just really love fashion so my whole wardrobe is basically inspired by the idea that if 70s stevie nicks and 70s Cher had a baby and that baby was cast in the film almost famous that's what my wardrobe is so with that being said i'm gonna take the sleeves i cut off an afghan jacket of mine to create a mini me afghan jacket if you don't know what an afghan jacket is i'll put a picture on screen here it's basically a sheepskin lined jacket with a suede outer a very big in the 70s and 60s i like to call it the penny lane jacket because penny lane in almost famous wears one i have a couple in a couple different colors but the most like true to me one that i wear all winter long is this tan brown color with this fuzzy wuzzy cream fur very similar to this one the reason i cut the sleeves off of the one for the sleeves i am using is because there is sun damage on these sleeves so now it's like a cute little vest and i can use these sleeves for my doll to create this jacket i just made a really simple jacket pattern and cut it out with a really simple straight sleeve i do this twice because i realized the first time i didn't have any embroidery on the front of the jacket and i really wanted to because it's so beautiful so i cut out a second pattern and did it again where you sew at the shoulder rather than having it as one piece so that i could include the embroidery i'm really sorry if that during the voice recordings you can hear banging our house did flood in the recent heavy rainfall and storm that happened in auckland a couple weeks ago so there are tradespeople here fixing that problem for us so i'm really sorry but once I hand sewed the jacket together, I just used some of that fluff to line the sleeves. My real afghan coat is lined all the way through, through the body, but that would add way too much bulk for me to apply this to a doll scale. It would just be so big on her she wouldn't be able to fit in a stand. So I just did the cuffs and I line the front of the jacket as well, like the opening. But yeah, turning these sleeves out like was impossible when they were like the fluff made them so big that i could barely reverse them once i had sewn them but yeah i'm just gluing on a lining and my afghan jacket is done now for my mini me's dress pretty much 95 percent of my wardrobe is pink florals i love the late 60s early 70s floral flower power vibe i love a good peasant dress i love a good maxi skirt so i'm taking what is actually the fabric of my bed sheets and making a little peasant dress sort of inspired like this one these kind of boho peasant dresses traditionally have kind of big yokes, tassels, and contrasting patterns. I ordered some contrasting fabrics, but they sadly didn't arrive in time. But I am using 
embroidery thread to outline the yoke and I do create some tassels from that embroidery thread as well and then as always I'm just gonna go ahead and hand sew it all together as I'm not super confident with sewing such a small scale on a sewing machine So here are the finished little tassels and finished little boho peasant dress. I think the yoke turned out really well and I'm so happy with this little dress. I would definitely wear it in human size. And now I'm going to move on to some accessories. I wear a lot of jewelry, a lot of necklaces, a lot of rings, a lot of earrings. And I thought I should include something like that for my mini me. So I took these rose quartz crystal chips and just made myself a little necklace similar to one I have myself that I can put on my little mini me. And I of course included my two nostril piercings that I have because I wouldn't be me without them. So they're so cute on the scale. I love doll piercings so much. I'll put a little card on screen for the video that shows my doll piercing method. And now to trim her hair. As I said, I do have really long hair. Probably goes down to your like pockets on the back of your jeans, kind of length. But I do want to keep it really long just to add to that kind of emphasis of that feature on me on my mini me but I didn't want it dragging on the ground so I do just give it a little tidy up and a trim making a mini me is also like the ultimate practice of puppet magic creating that sympathetic magical tie to this little object that looks like you or represents you so I'm really excited to use this doll as part of my craft and on my altar but it's also just really fun to share a little more about myself with you guys and share some stuff about my aesthetic and what I sort of look like. I know I haven't done a face reveal on here yet and I don't really plan to so hopefully this can be a satisfying little peek into what I look like. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and learning a little more about me. If you did, please leave us a like, leave me a comment down below. And if you are new here, hit that subscribe button. I've got so many fun new projects in the works. I'm just at the bane of the lockdown postage system, but hopefully I'll be back here so soon with more crafts and more curios.